So the tune that we're looking at now obviously is Wonderful Land, which was originally done by The Shadows and then by Mike Oldfield and goodness knows since then. But it's a simple, very simple melody, but a beautiful chord structure and melody when, they put, when they're put together. It can teach us something about melody, harmony and so forth when we start to discern how these uh, two work together to make such a pretty sound. Now what we're going to do is start off with uh, the tune being in G. There you go, there's a G chord, we got that out of the guitar. So now we're going to start off with our second finger most likely on the 8th fret on the 2nd string. We're going to play So we start off, as I said, 2nd finger, 8th fret, 2nd string, then up to the 3rd string to the 7th fret, then back to the 8th fret on the 2nd string, and then you give a little reference to a D chord, a D uh, major chord, where you play the 10th the on the 2nd, the 11th on the 3rd string, and then the 12th on the 4th string. And then you're going to play that same A note, which is a tenth fret on the second string. And then you'll play another tenth fret, but only this time on the third string. So you'll play the 10 on the second string, the 10 on the third, then back to the 10 on the second string. Then you'll play the eighth on the first string. 8th on the 2nd string and then finish on that little chord which is basically a reference to the C chord you'll finish that on the 3rd string with the ninth fret and then you'll play which will be all on the 1st string and it'll be 8, 10, 12, 13 then repeat it so this section will be quite quick after the you'll play that, which is a 12, 13, 12, 10. And then down to the 8. Then you'll play, which will be a 10, 12, 10, 8. Then finishing and resolving back to the 10 there. And then you'll play a really pretty section, which goes You go 12, back to 8, then the next string up, 2nd string, 10, and that'll be on the 8, on the 2nd string, and then a quick 9 on the 3rd, then back to that 8 on the 2nd string. Okay, so that'll be a, another 1st a string exclusive, notes only on the 1st string. So you'll have a 12, an 8, and then all the way up to 15, and then a couple on the 17. Then you'll play that 17 another couple of times, and then come back to the 15, and then a glissando, sliding down to the 8, and then you'll come back up, to the uh, playing the 10, 12 and 13. And then you'll play a reference to a what's actually going on in the uh, chord structure while you're playing this. That's what you'll be playing. You'll be playing first string on the eighth fret, second string nine, third string 10, and then fourth string 10 as well. And then back to an E minor reference. So you play the second string, eighth fret. Then you'll play this, you'll see how the E minor chord comes into it. These notes, or at least these three. You'll play that note there. Then you'll play the E, which is the ninth on the third string. Back to the second string on the eighth then up to the or to the first string on the 7th fret then back down to the 
second string on the eighth and you keep doing that okay so that's the actual introduction the rest of the tune is a little, this is the old feel introduction anyway the rest of the tune is a little bit different and when you get to the second half of the the, the rest of the tune it, they play a or well, Olfeld plays it like this so it's going to start with a a 13 on the second string all these notes will be on the second string 13 12 8 10 10 then back to 13 then back to 10 and there you're going to play an 8 10 8 and slide back to the 6 finishing off with a 5 3 1 all on the same string so this so that'll go the second time it'll go so what you're going to do there is play 13 12 13 15 and then down to the 8 then you'll play the 10 the 13 again 10 another one of those little uh, ornamental pieces so which will be 8 10 8 6 finished off with a, a 5 3 1 once again all on the same string so he'll, the last time he'll play the introductory note on the first string at the 12th fret and that's how it'll go so so those notes will be 12 10 second string 12 first string 15 then back to the 12 on the second string 13 on the second string 15 13 12 13 again then back up to the 15 and then f resolving back to the eighth the G on the um, second string we'd already spoken about that chord so what do we have there we have we have that E minor chord there all right, so that's the the Hank version. A bit of uh, old field in there, old feel in there, and see how you go with that one.